Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, 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 welcome yeah. back, welcome back, welcome back right, to your back. favorite podcast on YouTube, the Don Core and D Regan Hippie Show. We are your hosts. Don fucking core. And the highest hippie in the room, D Regan Hippie, of course. And we back at it with episode 193. Well, I don't know. You, know, you gotta be 10 steps ahead in life. You gotta play chess sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Facts. Yeah, but we back. We in the building with a special guest, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, the uh, lovely, talented uh, battle rapper. Uh, one of the most viewed female battle rappers, you know. Okay, okay, um, nice, nice. I'm you excited. Hit the man, you get the man class, man. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> uh, I'm getting there. Uh, we got the lovely flawless in the building. Yes, yes, yes. How you feeling? How you feeling? <laughs> I'm gonna need you to do me a favor and bring that mic a little closer to you. Right there. I got you. I got you. There we uh-huh. go. Now we look. What's going on, man? How we feeling up in here? Lit. lit. It's lit. lit. It's lit. That's, That's what I'm talking table. about. That's what I'm do talking about. So get into it, cool man. Let's get into it, man. I know she's one of the um mainstays and she goes hard, you know what I'm saying? She's one of them ones on there, you know what I mean? Yeah. I watched both the events, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. Let's get into it. What's up? Um, I mean, I want her to introduce herself. I gave her the, the, the gracious stage. I, I introduced her. Tell her a little about yourself. Where you from? I'm flawless. Uh, I'm from Cleveland. Hey, bar for bar. Cleveland. You know nice. what I'm saying? Camp shit. <laughs> and I'm nice in yeah. real life. Ohio's it. Okay. <laughs> Ohio's <laughs> but um, uh-huh. yeah, look, we brought in the horizons, man. Regions. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We get... Get to reach out to believe me, you know what I'm saying? Believe That's me. Right there. I just yeah. I just joke around like that because I'm a big like LeBron fan, so I just me too. I just fuck around with shit like that. But there you go. See what I bring for you. Go, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you just gotta believe in what you believe, you know what I'm saying? And he's the goat. He's the so be- before we get to the battle rapping aspect, you know, and everything, uh what's it like growing what was it like growing up in, in Cleveland? Because we're from the big city, so we don't know anything. Cleveland is a big city, right? Uh, is it? I is think it? so. I like to think so. Mm. Um, it's pretty well, regular. Well, I've seen it, so it is a lovely city. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I've experienced it. It's not what uh, is broadcast to us. I will say that. Yeah. You know? thought it was a bunch of factories and farms and shit. Is that not what we're told? <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm. Know it for, but really? hey, oh my god, I never been, so I don't uh-huh. like to judge places that I've never been to. You know what I'm saying? It but felt, it felt like Queens and Newark mixed up. So it's like a lot of ethnicities around. Like you get a different mixture and stuff like that. Of yeah, people. I mean, like on the east side, there's a bunch of black people, and on the west side, that's where the Puerto Ricans and the white people. Okay. And the black people reside. It's a mixture. Yeah, because yeah. you get the Puerto Ricans over there that think they white. You know what I'm saying? They don't know their <laughs> culture. They don't know their truth. Yeah, you know what I mean? Your black nah, shit. Me, speak your black <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? But um. So how was it? Like he said, how was it coming up? Were you always into music coming up in Cleveland and stuff like that? No, my brother was a rapper, mm-hmm. and then my sister she dabbled and shit. I'm just a writer, um, and I started doing poetry. And then when I found out what battle rap was in 2013, I was just like, I can do that. Yeah. And I did it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a tougher form of poetry. Like mm-hmm. like, uh, like slam poetry. Yeah, like slam poetry. Because yeah. like, I love poetry. Yeah. Uh, so junior year in high school, I had a poetry class, and then I fell in love with that shit. And I still write to this day. Yeah. I keep it in my little folder. I don't expose it. <laughs> but I write poetry, and I love watching slam poetry with people Show so much aggression um, with that emotion. shit and mm-hmm. feeling. Yeah, yeah, that shit is fire. So, who's your favorite uh, poet? Edgar Allan Poe. Mm. AP. The AP. He nice. He nice. That's a guy. I love the classics. Me, me I'm more of a uh, my uh, Angelou. I met her, but I was and I performed. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Keep, you got this. Yours. I this is yours. Performed um, an original for her. We went to meet her on a class trip. And she gave me a standing ovation. Mm-hmm. I was like, yes, yes, I know, right? Look, that, <laughs> yeah. That's a legend. <laughs> yeah, I love I love her, her work. She's literally, to me, the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? Like, one of the best writers that I ever came across. You know what I'm saying? So, music yeah, and, I guess, too. writing has always been around you. Mm-hmm. So, uh, like you said, uh, she has over 30 battles. 
I'm going to just say that. I won't let her get it. She said, I'm nice. I said over 30. I said over 30. Over 30. <laughs> you know what I mean? She got 30. There you go. Scotty Pippen on the back. You know what I'm saying? Um, over 160,000 oh, yeah, 60, views. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So um, when did like battle rap catch your attention or tell that story of like what influenced you or just woke you up to like... I'm going to do this. Like you just said, I could do this. So um, my daughter's father, he was coming to meet me. He was walking down the street and he was watching Bill Collector versus QP. I'll never forget this battle. And I'm just listening to it. I'm not really watching it because he's on his phone and shit. And then like Bill Collector caught my attention. I'm like, what are you watching? Mm. He was like, it's a battle. Like, right. what, what's that? And he showed me, and we watched it together, and I, like, fell in love with battle rap in that instance. Like, that night, I stayed up all night watching battle after battle. The next morning, I created a Twitter, Twitter and I'm following every battle rapper that I could find. Mm. Twitter's and- a cool tool. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, that's yes, where it started. So Bill Collector. He's Bill Collector. Yes. Yeah. The fucking goat. I don't care what no, nobody I'm not said. in the battle rap world. I don't know. And I he mean, smoked <laughs> Hitman, so let me just say that. Oh, yeah, shit. he did kick Hitman, Hitman ass. But, mm-hmm. um, but you see, YouTube is where it catches her attention, where... Like you said, or we always speak on the DVDs. Yeah, for us, we, it would to, be a little different because the only like for me, it was Smack growing up, mm-hmm. and that. But when it got to like URL and all this other shit, I fell off of it totally. Yeah. Weaned off. But back in the day, like he's saying, we knew it more because it was literally in the streets. The DVDs mm-hmm. with one of our ex best friends from back in the day, his pops used to own a bootleg DVD VHS shop. Mm-hmm. We used to get and one mixtapes. And smack and DVDs. Smack DVDs. And just get it on. And watch the and we wouldn't even watch like five in those videos. We will always go. We for real, yeah, man. We will like, always straight skip to the like, the, ba- the battle was at the end. And Party on it was murder like, mood. Oh, all man. them type niggas. You know what I'm saying? So it's just interesting to me to where it catches her attention and where it was. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So what year was that? That's why I was about to say. 2013. 2013. Mm-hmm. Oh. About right. So um, you get into battle rap. Is it at first what you expect it to be? Because you, you do poetry. You do poetry. So what? So hold on. It was better. Mm-hmm. What I did you do first? Did you start attending events that you could find, or did you try to get into no. it yourself? Um. So maybe a couple months after I actually got into watching battles. Um, I was talking to my brother, and he was just like, you know, I got a battle coming up. And I'm like, hey, battle what? Like, <laughs> battle rap? He's okay. like, yeah, we got a whole oh, yeah. league out here. I'm like, swear to God. Like, why didn't I know this? I need a battle. I immediately put myself in the Facebook group. I didn't even a- in- attend any events before I called somebody out. Like, <laughs> I went to the YouTube <laughs> channel. I was like, oh, she's popping. I want her. And I got booked to battle mm, her. She said, I'm destined for this shit. Yeah. I don't want to jump right into mm-hmm. it. Yeah, that's what writers do, right? Yeah, no, that's so, what they do. Um, you said it was a better expectation. So, mm-hmm. um, elaborate a little on that. Like, what did you expect? Like, just the rap, and it's like, yeah, I'm nice. Uh, it was better because um, of the camera and the lights uh-huh. and stuff. I like <laughs> the energy. Right? I like yeah. watching myself, and like that that crowd reaction is something mm-hmm. really. Mm-hmm. It's fire. It's yeah. dope. It, that shit is really a, a contact sport. <laughs> um, Battle rap. It's a contact sport. Not in the not in the sense of that you touching the, your opponent in a physical way, but the crowd gets involved in it. Everybody, okay. you know what I mean? It's I like you feel that. Like she's saying, like, oh shit. Yeah. They don't even this these two people really don't like what I'm saying, but these thirty over here feeling me, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And you feel yeah. both right. emotions like, damn, I, what I'm gonna say to get these two? attention you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so how was that first battle right yeah how was that i mean first that, it was great i feel like i won shout out to queen vixen because that was my first battle shout out to uh she hated my whole life um <laughs> <laughs> because you know she was the only female popping in cleveland like she had had a couple battles with other females but she like clearly watched them and I guess she felt like it was going to be the same thing with me because I hadn't had a battle f- 
before right. that. She ain't have no homework for you. She didn't know that my pen is crazy and real. Like, she didn't have no homework on you. Yeah, so, that's crazy. Yeah, I, so when I went into the group, I called her out, like, on the wall, like, you know, I want to yeah. battle you. But it wasn't nothing, like, negative. Like, I ain't be like, bitch, I want to smoke. Like, it was just like... I think you're dope. I want to battle you. And she instantly, you fat bitch. Like, I was like, whoa, Ooh. hold up. Like, <laughs> okay, why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Energy you giving up? Okay, yeah. I see you. This is it. Who the fuck crazy. you talking to? Yeah, so huh? she got real defensive and aggressive. I loved it. I loved her the whole time she hated me. And I was just like, you don't even understand. So it's like, I fuck with you. Like, yeah. Yeah. But then, like, we started beefing. And then we got cool eventually. And now that's my sis. Yeah, that's that's how bad a rap but goes. Yeah, that's how it usually works, right? Yeah. Especially the person that you call out. It's like, why you call it? What? Yeah, yeah. It was, she was but the only I, one I think popping. It, nah, in battle rap, when you more, get in that when ring, you, you gain that respect. When you more seasoned and you're a veteran and somebody new calls you out, it's like, who the fuck do you think? You're like, if somebody did that to her right now, she'll be like, yo, um, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking to? Who are you? Like, yeah. First of all, I'm nice like, in real that's, life. That's <laughs> battle rap. And I think, like she said, it's the reaction. And when people know that you dope, like when you get that 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 seal of approval, you like I'm that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's you how it was with P. Right. Easy, and we got to see that shit. Yeah, you see yeah. that from the first battle to we're here now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people that first battle was like, "Whoa, who yeah. the fuck is this dude?" You know what I'm saying? So I understand that for me. All right, so um, 2013 you start, mm-hmm. and uh, when does it hit you that because I tell y'all all the time, y'all stars and y'all own right. I don't think y'all grasp that, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, just like we have independent rappers, what I always speak on. And then you have the industry. You got mm-hmm. mainstream battle rappers, and then you have you guys, you know, mm-hmm. that some people might not pay attention too much, but people that are of this culture know, yeah. you know. So when did that hit you that you were somebody? <clears throat> When NJ reached out to me to come to New York and battle, uh, it was like my third battle. Mm. And he reached out like, yo, you fire. I want you to come out here. I'm going to pay you. And I was like, you're going to pay me? Oh, really? Mm. I'll be there. To come like, to New York. <laughs> I'll be there. And um, so I guess like most people didn't really know who I was, but he pays like special attention to the females in the culture. Right. Um, Shout out to NJ, man. Yeah. And then... Um, <laughs> And then Steams actually, like, made a post, like, yo, she's really fire. And I was like, wait, shit. I was like, wait, I know you. Like, you're Steams, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, you're what? You know who I am? Steam O. Wow. Like, (laughs) I made it. Yeah. (laughs) So, yeah. And um, at that point, what year is this? Around 2014. Oh, so one year in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had... When I, that first battle, I was trying to battle, like, every month after that. Like, I was chasing that attention that I was getting, so. Mm. So, so how many like, battles did you have your first year after your first one? I battled Vixen you know, we bounce in over each other. Yeah, November. 13? Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, it dropped in December. 2014, I probably had, like, seven battles. Oh, okay, so that was the end of the year, and then. Mm-hmm. Beginning yes. of next year, you got right into yeah. it. Mm-hmm. So it's actually not even a year span. It's like in that same months, calendar yeah. year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's dope. 14 months, she killed it with like eight battles. I was thinking. I mean, um, I watch her battles. I've watched her battles even before I met her. And she, she's dope. And like, Yeah, from the first two events that I've seen, I saw her battle. Yeah, I like the cadence. I like the flow. I like the wordplay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And she writes the her aggression shit. too. Man. She writes her shit. I write my shit. You put the pen you to just, the pad. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. I mean, she just says she comes from doing poetry, so it's not far fetched. Yeah, yeah, you have to. You know what I'm saying? You only progress more with poetry as well. Mm-hmm. I, Cause I definitely know how that feels. I never tried to write a rap, but I always put the pen to the pad for poetry. Cause mm-hmm. I like. He wrote a rap before. I did, but. You know, <laughs> I want to hear it. No, no you don't. No, you I don't. It was terrible. I, could, I wouldn't it's even horrible. be able to find it. Anyways, shout out to Oscar, you know what I'm saying? It was something about Spongebob, and it was, no. it was crazy. Yeah, yeah, like crazy. I said, I'll put your block Put your in. block hold. Like Spongebob. No. Ooh, it's in the fire, man. I have a Spongebob bar every battle, if y'all haven't yeah. noticed. <laughs> like, yeah. I fucking love Spongebob. Like, okay. 
So. And it's crazy because I despise that show. I really? don't know why I said that. Yeah, I wow. just despise that. Show. <laughs> I don't know why yeah, I said that. You show. tried to rap before. But, but um, yeah, when I was like in third grade or fourth grade, our teacher used to make us write 250 word essays every Friday. Mm-hmm. So I'm used to like writing, you know what I'm saying? And when poetry came into my life, I loved that shit. But so do you write, you write music? music? Yes, I do. I write music. Every genre, really, country, rock. Right. When y'all, excuse me, when y'all see cool go like this, when I ask a question, that means that was that question. Was <laughs> we did not shit, talk bro. for like a whole week. I don't know. No, nah, we haven't <laughs> spoke for a week because I've been, I've been gone. Go ahead, do your thing. Nah, <laughs> go ahead. You, know? you can answer that question. See, uh, she said all, all, all uh, genres yeah. of music. Um, Screenplays, books, mm-hmm. stories. What's your... I know these answers, but what's your favorite genre of music? I think a lot of people will be taken back by your favorite genre. Of music. I like dark ambient music. Like, think of like the saddest movie that you've ever watched and the soundtrack to that movie. Yeah. What's the saddest movie, Nash? That I've ever watched. I don't know. I, cr- like I cry off shit. everything. Me too. <laughs> Major Me League. Too. Nah. Notebook, right, man? <laughs> Color purple. Color purple. Oh, okay, shit. nah, not that. <laughs> something like, a, like something like a Twilight. Yeah, ish. Like you've ever seen Before I Fall. Yeah. 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 That soundtrack, something like, like that. everything. Okay, like, it's, yeah. it's cool. I've, okay. I've, I've, yeah, it's very soothing. Very. Oh. very I like soothing. dark shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What's your? Uh, there we go. What's your? To get away from battle rap for a while because it's a lot of layers to yeah. flawless. What's mm. your favorite like holiday? Halloween. Of course. We saw that one coming. That's my that's my mom's favorite holiday. (laughs) She'd be on it. (laughs) Like it's fucking Christmas. A week before your list. It's it's Mm -hmm. always Christmas. Halloween time is crap. It's lit. Anytime like scary and weird shit can be normalized, I'm with it. Like (laughs) Like Friday the thirteenth is two days and mm. you're excited i'm oh, okay. very excited like i want to have a seance or some weird shit like, that. <laughs> like <laughs> so what's your favorite yeah. like horror flick halloween the original okay that's it <laughs> that's my shit right there too. i love it mike mike the original slasher yeah i can't mm. i can't with these new horror movies i don't know they're not really scary i don't so i don't really pay attention to that except for um what is called okay what that one's called which one? The latest one that came out. They just dropped the part two. Don't breathe. Come out tomorrow. Don't yeah, that's yeah, yeah. We was talking about that. that yeah, don't breathe. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's different. Scary. That's it's like a thriller. It's a thriller. Yeah. Okay. I like slashers. I'm not like really big on like the supernatural genre, but like I like when there's a real person yeah. that it's becomes out. a serial killer. Yeah, like. It's better than like Chucky or Freddy when where I have like a sci fi element to it. Like I just like the thought of this kid just killed his fucking sister and then he got out the institution and started killing more people. Like just because he's fucked up. Like I like that. Like I think (laughs) a lot of people don't think about this movie as a horror. What? Good son. That is a scary ass movie, yo. That was my movie. It's. Ah, that's scary. It's a like it was. <laughs> it's a, I would say it's a thriller. Thriller, thriller, suspense yeah. type. Yeah. yeah. Nah, I'm saying Elijah Wood. That's it was that. crazy. <laughs> um, so um, I will say this. Uh, 2013, 2014, you take off in battle rap to get back there. Um, you touch platforms like Queen in the Rain, right? Mm-hmm. Um, back then. But then you take a break. Yeah. At your, like, peak. You know? Yeah. Um, personal, of course, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But now, you took a two-year break. Mm-hmm. And now you're back. And two battles? Yes. Two. two three. Ba- three. Three? Yes. The three, excuse me. Three. Three, three. three battles. And, um, I'm not going out. <laughs> <laughs> Asterix, yeah. Um, how, does it feel the same to you? Like, because two years, you know, and then dealing with life and then coming back, is it the same hunger? Is it the same feeling with the reaction? Or No, it's now like it's expected. Um, 
I think that I've gotten so used to like the adoration that I've been getting. Right. Like now it's it's nothing new. I want to try something different now. Um, I'm gonna keep battling just because I love the sport. Like right. I don't I don't even watch battle rap anymore like I used to, but I still love the sport of it. I still love being in front of the camera and the crowd reaction and shit. But it's not the same. Like I don't love it as much. I think it's changed a lot. Um, not only from when you was taken off in 2014 and 2015 in those years, but even from when you took a break from it, I think it's so much more to battle rap mm -hmm. in just two years that it's like, all right, now you can set goals, yeah. you know, and you, it's not just, all right, I'm battling because I want to battle here. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a name or any type of following, you can kind of be like, all right, I want to do this. You can expand into different shit. So I, I say that because you have your first, it's She Goes Hard, you know, She Goes Hard, but um, under the We Go Hard brand, mm -hmm. you never battled there. And um, how was that first experience? It was <clears throat> regular. Yeah. I mean, like, I was supposed to battle on She Go Hard um, a few years ago, and then I didn't. It was like a situation um, and I think it's mainly because I've been to We Go Hard events. Like, I've battled in front of right. We Go Hard battlers. So it, it's not a difference. Like, I've battled in New York numerous right. times. Like, I've battled on Queen of the Ring out here, E&J Battlegrounds. I was supposed to battle on the... Like, I know everybody. It's kind of the it's, same it's, crowd. It's, yeah, like, yeah. And even when you battle out of state, there's more than likely some We Go Hard niggas in the crowd. Like. Uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um so what's, what's better, the uh, New York crowd or back home? I'm going to ask you a tough question. Mm -hmm. The New York crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they <laughs> they usually get everything. You know, it's, it's so hard, especially being, like, I like to rap about everything, okay? And I'm, like, really intelligent. <laughs> so I, I don't like to feel like I have to dumb myself down to get crowd reaction. Like, here right. I can rap about, like, classic literature and, I mean, like, Niggas might not get it, but if you say it right, they're gonna react Don't anyway. React to it. Yeah. <laughs> so, you can yeah. flip yeah. balls in so many different it's all ways. About the yeah. Put yeah. on tantras on top of on tantras. Yeah. yeah, we know rap, and it's not going over everybody's head. Mm -hmm. Niggas in New York is like, oh, did you hear? Stop her! Did you hear what she said? Mm -hmm. <laughs> say it again. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so um, saying that, you know, so coming back, you have a plan here. Mm -hmm. Like, um, you can say here, hey, yeah. Uh, Got picked for a Crucible, URL Crucible tournament, I did. right? And, yes. Um, which is big. Yeah. You know? Was, was this a um, King of the Ring type tournament type shit? Uh, I guess you would look at it that way. Yeah, like break it down while you facing it. It's a, a 10,000, 10K mm -hmm. tournament. Yeah. That's what's up. And um, it's round by round, but it, it's kind of like the, the new process to get um, noticed. By URL staff, and I mean URL staff already has their eyes on you, but mm -hmm. to, just move up to the next level. Okay, you know it's no more PG uh, process. Oh, all right. You know, all so, right. yeah. That's are cool. you excited about that? I am because this is what I really wanted to battle. Like I've been trying to get on Smack for years. I feel like I'm better than everybody, to be honest. And I'm just, I'm excited to just touch another platform that I've been dying to get on. Like, I've been on Queen of the Ring, like, maybe three years ago, three or four right. years ago. And now it don't interest me anymore. <laughs> now I want to get on Smack just to say I did I it. Did and, this. and then I want to be done, to be honest. <laughs> then it's over? Yes. Because so what else am I looking forward to? I battled on King of the Dot already. So what else? So what you see yourself doing after you hang up the mic? Movies, like writing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm trying to get rich. I'm trying to be a billionaire. So I've been trying to write my own my script. Yeah, it's like a it's like a a TV show type shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying my got a life. got a few movies. I think yeah. shit. I like that. That now that process is hard for it's me. Scary. It's difficult to do. It is. I tried to take certain simple ways of people saying shit. Like I listen to Ice Cube a lot, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he be like try to have. The beginning, middle, and the end with the protagonist, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. getting in trouble, then getting out of the trouble, then surviving at the end, and then 
a minute per page and shit like that. I'm like 30 minutes into my script. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? Like 30 minutes. Into like a yeah, series? Nah. Like a yeah, series I'm trying to do like a web series. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? Almost how... Um, well, I'm forgetting her Respect name, and that's my queen. Oh. No. Um, um, Issa Rae. Issa Rae. Issa Rae. Okay. You know how she started on YouTube? She had a web series on YouTube, and that, that turned into... Insecure. Uh, insecure on HBO. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then she got movies and shit. So I I'm trying to do it about mm-hmm. my life after graduating college. I want it to be like a dry humor type shit. Oh, like that. okay. Like Seinfeld? No, I hate Seinfeld. More like <laughs> Kirby like Enthusiasm. Kirby okay. Enthusiasm. <laughs> Mixed with Martin and um, Living Single. Okay. I want my cast to be funny and okay. me to be the dry yeah. humor. Okay. Of course I'm in it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you know. <laughs> So, uh, writing movies, that's what you would like to do after you finish with the battle rap thing. Yes. All right. That's what's up. Definitely. You, got, you got something in the works already? Something in your head that you're thinking of? Yes. Yeah, so, okay. Is it going to be a dark movie? Is it, it going to be a horror? It actually isn't. It's <laughs> not. It's okay. You want to have some sunflowers in it? So, <laughs> no. <laughs> so, I started writing a book two years ago. Okay. And my laptop got destroyed, and I didn't back anything up. I don't. I don't back Fucking anything up. I don't even have insurance on my phone. Like I don't know why. No, not me. <laughs> not me. Um, but so I had to start over. And then as I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I'm not about to make this a book. It's about to be a series. And then I started working on that. And then my daughter broke my laptop again with everything not backed up. So now it's just like, okay, let me condense everything into just kids. a movie. <laughs> God damn it. Um, but I really just want, I want to drag it out into a series because I think the um, the concept of my story is so dope. It's called Bunny. I was about to ask. It's about a white girl who had everything, and then it was taken away from her. Her father died. She had to move Uh to the hood. Oh, Jesus Christ. (laughs) Jesus Samuel. Yeah, she had to move to the hood. Um, Her neighbor is a stripper. They get in cahoots. She starts stripping. Oh, it's lit. The neighbor, her, her. Never mind. I'm not even about to Don't give out give the premise. Whole shit. But yeah, it's a really dope. It's 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 dope so far. Um, okay. So, okay. Yeah. Look at the mind. The mind working. It has yeah. to. Be. My next you, one's gonna be horror though. The second one. If you don't believe in yourself, who else will? You know what I'm saying? Nobody, Nobody. is gonna root for you like you can Nobody. root for yourself. Nobody. Um. So you you touched on you know um your daughter destroying the laptop, so. Mom life is amazing. It is. Yeah, yeah. See, <laughs> my kids are amazing. Mm-hmm. I have like the best kids ever. Right. The little one's questionable, I guess. Um, <laughs> when she get older, really when she get older, and like she's not destroying shit, then I, you, I can yeah, rock for her. Yeah, you but. figure it out. You know, <laughs> you gotta get I don't know. Stuff. I don't have any kids of my, for myself yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on it. Listen, man, the anger issues over there is a little worse than mine, so he got to... Yeah, man, I be wilding, bro. Yeah, the smiles on the video, you know? if you see me around my niece, it's a little different, but I could hand it back. Yeah, Yeah, right. I don't like to compare it to if I would have my... But I like to treat her like my daughter, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, yeah, Mm -hmm. I'll take my time with it. I think I'm still young. We all, are you? we all young. I'll be 33. Oh, okay. Now you got to hurry up. You got to hurry up. Right? Yeah, you yeah. would. Cause I'll, I'll be 33 I'll be, August 29th. Oh, you a Virgo. Throw the bees up. Virginity for life. Cool. Like, he was, he was <laughs> his, almost his, a real His nigga. brother is a Leo. <laughs> yeah, my brother's a Leo. I'm and a Leo. then I got the Geminis and Taurus. So yeah. mom's Gemini, brother Leo, brother Taurus, me Virgo. So it's like. Oh, and then crazy. my my grandmom's no. rest in peace to the goat. She was a Libra. Nigga just leave me oh, out. Okay. I don't be mad around. Yeah. Now I'm saying you how that saying. goes in line, right? <laughs> <laughs> From May to September. September. Mm-hmm. You That's all the way in January. You know I'm cold, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I have all cold fire signs baby. in my household. I'm a Leo. My oldest daughter a Leo. Then I have an Aries and a Aquarius, Sagittarius. I forgot. January. Stars no, and December. quasars and all this. <laughs> Yes. So who's your? So give me your top five. Who's your top five in battle rap, battle male rap. or female? You can mix it up together, or you could give me two. You gotta blend it. 
Because some of these women is better than the dudes. Yeah. Okay, so not being, like, arrogant or anything like that. So I can't put myself I'm in there, top obviously. five, right? <laughs> obviously, I mean, right? Obviously. <laughs> um, Bill Collector uh-huh. is number one. <laughs> not me. Um, I like coffee. Okay. Fonz from Cleveland. He should be number one, but that would be biased. So Fonz. Um, Av and Rum Nitty. I like punchers. Okay, four and five. So, yeah. I ain't into it, but that nigga Rum Nitty nice. He's nice. Yes, sir. <laughs> He's fire. I be catching some. Remember I showed you him nice. years ago, bro? Yeah. Years ago. But that's your yeah, fire. Yeah, that's a nice list. That's a nice list to go up against. Fonz is dope. He's like the literally. Fonz is fire. The best to me, but I can't just say that because it's gonna seem biased because he's from Cleveland and shit. Mm, but yeah. it's not biased like that. His pen. Now Fonz is fire. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember first time I seen Fonz on uh, We Go Hard Love Day. I want to say it was Drake Dennis. I don't. Remember. I can't remember who it was, but um, he bugged the fuck out, and um, it was crazy to me because he was from Cleveland. You know what they preach to us. I'm like. Hey, what he about to do? <laughs> and he started wow, and I was like, "Oh, it's hoods out there." Okay. <laughs> you feel me, man? Cleveland like, is oh. a hood in itself. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but the Christmas story house is there, so that's. Did that, did that throw hey, you off? It throws me off. That's, that's what that movie's based on, right? Yes, yeah, um, that's my favorite Christmas movie. Yeah, really? yeah. 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 she hasn't seen it. She, you oh. haven't seen a Christmas story. Oh man, it's a How lot of a lot of <laughs> a lot of movies. I've never oh, seen, seen a lot, lot of movies. movies. Yeah. I mean, you gonna have to start doing your homework if you want to write movies. No, nah, yeah, I mean, no, nah, she hasn't seen a lot of hood movies. That's yeah. Okay, they, that's what's the best better. movies, bro? Hood movies, of course. Mm-hmm. I love the movies where they can't act, but they act they so act beautiful, so <laughs> well. It's like I'm gonna horrible. get you, sucker. What's better what? than that? <laughs> what is better than that? <laughs> That's my shit right there. Oh, what, what else we got, Cole? Huh? What else we got? Um, well, we got to the crucible and the goals after that. Um, so what do you have coming up besides the crucible, of course, which is about two months or something? Mm-hmm. This is October tenth in Detroit. Um, September fourth, I battle Jade. Oh. In Kokomo, Indiana. <sighs> Um, <laughs> and that's that, it. Like that's I'm what? not. I was supposed to be on this she go hard card, but they don't. They don't want to fuck with me right now. I don't so. know who she talking to <laughs> like that. Like, see, I'm I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I take shirts off. You know what I mean? When, when is I go, this? Wait, wait. I go to work and I take my shirt off. Then I bad rap. I take my shirt off. I come here. and Take my shirt off. She just she tried to. You ain't peeped the shot, but it, it was, was a, a shot. shot. I right? you know okay. This we she sad. goes hard. Is always fucking well. So. Mm-hmm. I don't know what she's talking about. What's she know what's going on. They making me sit down like a toddler. Feel like I'm it's a okay. Toddler. It's okay. I did. I didn't do well my last battle, and I'm oh, okay shit. with that. Like I've come to terms with it, mm-hmm. but I don't feel like I should have to sit out because I did terrible. I don't. What happened? I like I happened. Um, I don't want to put any blame on anybody or. Or try to justify just me fucking up. Like, yeah. it just... It wasn't your night. It just wasn't your night. All right. It was mm-hmm. terrible. Even LeBron lose. It wasn't my bars LeBron because LeBron if I would have got my bars out, I would have <laughs> smoked her. LeBron lost a lot. <laughs> he won a lot, too. <laughs> he did win. He did win. You know, you know we're not going to do that. But, um, yeah, uh, Han J is, huh, what would they call it? A fire burner. Yeah, it's it's, that's one of those, high. man. Okay. I'm expecting a lot. I'm about to smoke her fucking. I was about to say. I just saw how she. Nah, I just saw I, how she looked at you like. What is I this guy talking about? Right some here? shit to get I'm off my her. chest. She shot me just now, so I'm amping. <laughs> Jay jumped in my battle versus Miss Lisa, my first uh, Queen of the Ring battle, mm, and yes, she, she jumped did. in Lisa's second round, and she was fire. But like, bitch. Why you do that? Like, yeah, <laughs> like why you do that? So Jay, I didn't shot her a couple times in previous battles till we get booked. Well, we, we're booked book. down. But I'm not the smoker fucking boots. Jade is dope, but she also has, um, just like Flawless, took a break. 
So for them to be battling right now, it's just it's it's highly anticipated. And she coming off a crazy a crazy battle, battle. Too. Yeah. crazy three. I'm a sh- I am showed you Jay before. I showed you Jay before. You just don't remember. You don't remember. She kind of looked like Grace Jones and Tony Todd if they had I'm a not baby. Her, That's fucked up. Just <laughs> okay. It um, is what it is. <laughs> and then after nothing after Jay, then you got the Crucible, correct? All right. So and that's what I'm yeah. focusing on yeah. until she go hard, want to book me again. Um, she goes hard, always wants to book you. That's yeah, but they got to give me somebody like the that's next. Not, exactly. That's uh, I'm book, not going. I'm not listen. I'm not going to discuss too much on the camera. But uh, yeah, we gotta, we gotta. Y'all will be seeing much more of flawless when she goes hard. Yeah. That's what's up. So um. You wanna um you wanna give the people where they can find you at everywhere like your Instagram, social medias, YouTube, whatever you got to promote yourself. You could just give it to them right now. I have a Facebook. <laughs> That's where I'm active at. That's it. <laughs> no, I That's have where an I'm Instagram, allowed. <laughs> but like I don't like to promote that Instagram because I feel like I'm starting over. Like my old page is gone now. Like it's still there, but I can't use it because I told Queen Kiki she looked like Soldier Boy. So I'm blocked. Um, She's a social media criminal. Yeah. But <laughs> Yvonne not. Hicks on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Um, Flawless the Goat on Instagram. I don't have a Twitter or Snap or anything like that. And you don't got your own YouTube channel? Not yet. It is coming. She needs it. Work on that. You need yeah. that. Yeah. Her, 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 uh, so you could find her what on the URL channels? Not, what else? Uh, um, <clears throat> Anywhere. Bar for bar. Queen of Dreams. Just type in the name Flawless Verses and then. But Flawless Verses. And it, they all going to come up. <laughs> Click play. Of them. You got anything else you want to um, ask before we wrap it up? I appreciate your attendance here. Um, yeah, I appreciate you first, coming out to the show. You know what I'm saying? The first, we need, we needed some more um, female energy Estrogen. on this show. Yeah. Estrogen, yeah. And um, last female body this was spray. episode one eighty eight. <laughs> and body spray. <laughs> I tried to put the I tried to put the low on to smell good. You know, no, I, <laughs> you know, I got a shape up. I had a hat, but I left it. I need um, to get a haircut. I ain't mm-hmm. getting one to my birthday. Um, I appreciate you being here and gracing our platform and being the first female MC battle rapper here. Oh no problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um I don't think it'll be the last time. No, really, we'll get another one. I feel like y'all should like add me to the um, staff. I feel like it should be like to the staff. Flawless, Don Court, and Shrek and Happy Show. That don't they have a nice ring to it? Like I have the voice for this. How right? about the no. Don Court and D Rick and Happy Show are flawless? Are oh, flawless. Well, why can't my name be first? Oh. We gonna talk about that when because you wasn't with rolling. me shooting in the gym. <laughs> 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 I like that idea though because we are. Uh, you could be like a reoccurring host. I really do not mind. Like, you know, like what I'm saying? Um, Bow Wow on 106 and Park. Yeah, remember, like, like you could come in whenever <laughs> you're like in town. Moss. You could pop up for two okay. episodes while you're in town. I could do that. Co host the show with us. Give us your thoughts on topics and things like Might that. Might be even able to expand it. Yeah. yeah. That's a YouTube. Matter. That's what technology and, uh, does. I'm mobile. Yo, the plane <laughs> the plane goes up and then it goes down and you're in Cleveland. <laughs> yeah, fucks. I can't wait to get on the plane. I'm going to PR. For what mm. I mean, yeah, I'm out of here. You leaving, That's right? Sad. Yeah, I'm out of here, bro. I can't get you drunk for your birthday this year? So I'm going to get drunk myself. Out there. You lying. Nah, I am. You lying. I mean, pay I'm me a, a little hook out there. A little $10, $12, <laughs> dollars, give an orange. <laughs> <laughs> Half I don't think arm. I want any sh- uh, any. <laughs> if all I gotta do is give you twelve dollars and an orange. I don't want it. I don't Listen, want it I, and, for the rest of the night. No. And dr. <laughs> and, and dr. Orange. And dr. You can't get a mango. Yeah, what they told and you? DR. Who is that? They went out there. Uh, Being who was it? I forgot who it was. Trev. Trev. Five American dollars. Get you an all nighter. Get you about a boy ten of them. One of them IG models. I don't yeah. want it. <laughs> I don't want to. I said, I'm scared. <laughs> she got that this clap. Yeah, she clap. On it. <laughs> she got that boom. Yeah. That shit ain't clap. That yeah. shit is so. Sure. So for that being said, yes, yes, yes. For yes. Don Cole, yeah, it's bro. D Week and Hippie, and y'all already know what we about to do. We about to get up out of here, flawless. Thank you so much for gracing the show, and y'all will see her again soon. We yes. out of here.